I'm Ben, founder of the company and CEO of Flip, and we do Apple Apes, um, super apps for a frontline workforce. When you look at an employee journey of an employee today and a frontline employee at Costco, at Walmart, or at Daimler, they have a really broken employee journey. And they have so many systems, um, they don't have access to them, they don't know where to go for which kind of information. And what we do, we build an employee, so we call it super app for the frontline workforce. And with that, we basically um, a companion the employee in the whole employee journey and support him in every step of that. I think the one part is really technology, but the more important one is the philosophy. We really try to empower the employee. Uh, we just to try not to be the next tool they have and they're not really using. And so we optimize everything for usage. That's what we do. And uh, that really sets us apart. We are the app being actually used. And we connect the disconnected and uh, make sure they really love using it. I've seen plug and play from uh, many perspectives. I worked at Porsche in my past, and also have been a part of plug and play um, on, the, on the Porsche side, and also being on the startup side. And founding Flipper's company, we didn't have any customers in the beginning. So Porsche was our first customer then, but it was also important um, to get other customers on board and really make this a big thing, a big success. And uh, that's where we actually thought of plug and play, becoming a partner, and uh, yeah, for them reaching out to many corporates and winning many customers together. Together. Plug and Play participated in our seed round and also in our Series A. We both raced together um, above uh, 30 million. Being a founder and finding someone who believes in you and believes in the vision as well, it is a big event. I always say like having investors on board is like a marriage, kind of a bit like a wedding day, <laughs> uh, but you also, it's very clear you're committing to a long term relationship. Be very, very precise on why now. Why is it, wasn't it feasible three years ago or not ten years ago? Why is the time frame now? And also, be very wise in choosing the market. Uh, who are you selling to? Who are your customers? Who is, are your ISPs? Who are your users? And uh, making that very clear and getting as much intel on it as possible.